What the shit? <laughs> They're both getting tased, piece of shit. Jesus. I like how everyone was calm until he walked in here. Alright, Mr. Miller. Oh, he just parachuted out! Alright, keep your eyes peeled, man. Are you gonna give or not, man? Driver of the blue car, step oh, out! Shit. What's up, guys, and welcome back to another DOJ video. Today we got Mr. Bart Williams, and he's a, uh, he just moved here, and, uh, recently got a, a trailer, but, uh, rent is, uh, is pretty hard, you know, he doesn't have a job right now, and so he's, he's running out of money that he brought over from where he used to live, so he does have enough money to buy a handgun, however, and, uh, he might, uh, he might try to rob someone for some money, you know? You gotta do what you gotta do, right? Alright, there's a guy up here. He's driving, uh, one of those go-kart things. Might be easy. Hey, man! What do you want, Tubby? Oh, well, I have some tickets in my car. I just wanted to see if you wanted them. I, I can't make the show, so... Tickets for what? Well, well, it's a concert, man. Like, what kind of concert are we talking about? A rock concert? You want me to go get them? I mean, fuck yeah. If it's free, it's for me. Alright. <laughs> Little does he know, he's about to be robbed. He called me Tubby at first, piece of shit. <laughs> I should give him tickets. Oh, I got to open the door, dude. God, I just want to open the door. All right, here we go. Alright man, we're gonna make this nice and simple. I can't afford to rent right fuck? now. I can't afford to rent right now. So I need some help. Do I look like I got money, dude? I'm driving a fucking golf cart. Hand it over, man. Fucking hell, dude. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Drop Jesus Christ. Drop the gun. Hey, don't drive away. Shit! That cop was getting gas. He needs to hand over the money. Hand over the money, piece of shit. Hand it over, man! Hand it over! Hand it over! Hand it over! Ah, oh, fuck! Hand it over! You gonna give or not, man? Driver of the blue car, step oh, out! Shit. <laughs> oh, throws three dollars. <laughs> he threw three dollars. <laughs> Dude, this car sucks ass in the rain or in the snow. Thought we flew right by. All right, we have to. Priority started. We got a ditch. We got a blackout. Dude, this car sucks in the snow. It's a front wheel drive. It just freaking drifts around like a piece of crap. Oh, man. He throws $3. <laughs> that was great. Dude, I didn't know that. I didn't even. It totally dawned on me that that undercover was sitting right at that damn gas station. I thought that was a sieve. But sibs do not drive caprices, so that explains that. Tractor, whoa. Yeah, there's no way we're gonna get away on this. 
There's no way. And this hunk of junk. Oh! Jeez. <laughs> dude, this car sucks, dude. I should have picked a way better car. This car is horrific. Horrendous. He's sinking. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Damn. I was hoping he'd hit him. This car sucks. In the snow, dude. See if they uh, try to outsmart me here. Dude, this car is so bad. In the snow. It's unreal. It's just tire spin, tire spin, tire spin. Oh my goodness, we're getting everybody involved. Jeez. Can't believe hit. What is this truck doing? He's going the wrong way. If he's trying to. Oh! Oh, I think they wrecked! I think they wrecked! I think they wrecked. Oh, did he have spikes? Was he getting spikes set up? I don't know. I think that's a DUI checkpoint. Dude, yes! 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 I got a gap, I got a- oh fuck. <laughs> no I don't. I had a gap dude, I had a gap, I had a gap. Not anymore. We're gonna have to try to ditch in a grape seed if we can, or Polito. Again on 13. Oh dude, this car is fucking garbage. Oh my gosh dude, the tire spin is insane. All right, well, I don't think we're not going to be able to shake this charger unless we freaking, I don't even know. Unless we uh, try to hit some cars into them or opposite lanes, honestly. There's no way to... Ooh, shit. There's no way around this. I might have to, uh, before we get to the tunnel, I could go opposite lanes. And that way, that would... Uh, that would give me enough of a gap because they're not they're not going to uh, they're not going to which call they're not going to follow me in opposite lanes at least they're not supposed to so we could try that whoa dude oh my goodness that just did ascend pretty good there oh man that just fucked up our car oh man. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to, to ramp this up here. Uh, uh, I gotta look for a gap. I gotta look for a gap. We need to try to find an abandoned vehicle somewhere, but I don't know. If we can do that. Here we go. We're gonna do it this way. It's very dangerous, but I have no option. I don't have any other option. Okay, what I could do is wait in the tunnel a little bit. Well, there's probably, they're probably going to stay back there a little bit. Because what I could do is I could flip around in here. But they're probably going to be waiting on the other side. They're probably flipping around, actually. I probably need to get going because they're going to start flipping around. Ah, oh, the bitch! He was waiting. He was waiting. Damn it! Damn! He was waiting. Ah, dang. Uh. Shit! I don't know what to do next. Grape seed? Oh, dude, this car is not gonna take much more. It's not gonna take much more. He was waiting. He's a, he's the only one at the moment. So if he wrecks, oh shit! Or if I wreck. This car is not going to take much longer. Okay, I have something else I could try. I could get back on the 13 and head toward Polito. And if I get enough of a gap, I could go into that uh, homeless camp or whatever. But I, this car, dude, I don't know if it'll last. If I can... There's so many units on it. Or on me. Well, not now. He's the only one. But there's so many involved in the pursuit that I just... 
Maybe if I would have waited just a little bit longer to come out of that tunnel. But then again, eventually they would think, hey, he must be stopped in there if he hasn't come out the other side yet. I'm just going to try to hope he wrecks, and then I need to not wreck in the process myself. I wreck. We're done, we're done, we're done. Shit, more units are gonna be cut. Yep, more units are coming in. This is bad. This is bad, this is bad. Oh, I'm getting enough of a gap on him, dude. This car is so garbage. Oh, I think he's, does he got spikes? He's got spikes, he's got spikes! Oh, oh. He had spikes set up. If I can get enough of a gap by doing opposite lanes, on 13, I might have a shot again. All right, I got a little bit of a gap, a little bit of a gap. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Dude, they're everywhere. Absolutely everywhere, dude. Oh my goodness. All right. User joined your channel. If we're gonna go opposite lanes, we're gonna have to uh, take the shoulder. Dude, this was a robbery gone wrong. Whoa, stupid ass AI, what are you doing? We're gonna take this the whole way. I'm just gonna stick to the shoulder. If anyone AI merges in, we're done. We're dead. We're gonna have to bail off in this barn or something. I wonder if I could do that. No, because they can turn around right here. Uh trying to think. Would I have time? I don't know if they'll follow me. User disconnected uh, from the he probably will. No, you motherfucker. Okay, we're going through. We're going through here. We're going through here. Dude, if I can get to a barn, if I can get to a barn or something, anything, I could hide out in this house, maybe. I'm gonna come up here to Union. Oh. Might have a gap, might have a gap. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Oh, 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 dude. Dude, I might have done this. Fuck, do we have a helicopter? If we have a helicopter, I'm screwed. I think we have a helicopter unit. If he finds me, I'm fucked. If this helicopter does, I'm screwed. There's no way. I can't tell where that helicopter is. I'm gonna try to come up to this. Hang on to her, hang on to her, hang on to her. Get up in here, get up in here. Oh, he went by! They went by! They went by! <laughs> they went by! They went by! They went by me! They went by! I don't know where that helicopter is. If they come up here, I have to ditch. Oh shit, he got out, he got out, he got out. I heard, I heard someone get out of the car. Oh shit, he sees, he sees. He sees, he sees, he sees, he sees. <laughs> Damn. Dude, I cannot get away. Ugh. Alright, dude, this is about done. This car is gonna die soon. I'm just gonna have to bail it off in the woods, or the woods, the farm down here. I don't, I don't know. I can't go much longer. I'm gonna try to come to this, uh, 
homeless camp thing, and then after that I have to just give up. There's only so much I can do. I think they have an air unit. And there's just, there's no way around it. Coyote, you're dead too. They're probably gonna think that, they're probably gonna be like, is he gonna come out in the tunnel this time, or? Get out the way. Don't hit me. His car is so bad. One more hit and it's dead. It's done. The fluid is out. The AC is out. The oil's bad. I can't believe this thing is still running. <laughs> they were waiting to see if I actually came out. I did. I'm just a little bit slow. That's all. I think they're gonna be able to cross over though. They're gonna see me go into this camp. There's there's just there's no way around it. I can't get away and this it's all busted and I thought I could hide in that farm or whatever, but they, they found me. Oh he's going all the way up to Toledo. Fuck. This is it, this is it. This is it. Can I go in that trailer? I don't know. Can I go in here? Can I come in this? I don't think I can. No. User joined your channel. Yeah, I'm trapped. Trapped as can be. This is it. For Mr. Bart. They have an air unit. I can't see where he's at, but I can hear him. What do you want, man? Drop the gun and put your hands in the air. Man, I just moved here. I need money to pay the rent. Drop the gun and put the hands in the air. Come on, man. This isn't gonna go the way you want it. Put your hands in the air. Drop the gun. I just moved here, man. You're not listening to me. Drop the gun. Well, I spent a lot of money on it, man. Drop the gun, or we'll drop you. You need to put the gun down. Why, man? Stop. Stop. I'm, I'm trying to hear put you, man. Put the gun man. down. Put the weapon down. Do not step forward. Stay where you are and right, put I'll, the gun I'll, on the ground. Fine, I'll step back then. Stop moving. To hide around back. I try to sneak around back. I got you. Ah! Watch cross, watch cross. Ah! Hands up! Hands up! <laughs> Let's see your hands! Let's see your hands! Ah! So Hands in the air! So I got taser, I got taser. Oh, it's like a damn army! Uh. Drop the gun! <laughs> Drop the gun now! Taser him, taser him. Okay, okay! I got the gun. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.
That was great. Somebody's got his gun already? Yeah, I got it. Oh, man. Yeah, there, there was no getting out of that at all. Where are we where are we putting this guy? Where's which whose car is he going in? Uh, I don't have a cage in mine, so pick one with lights on it, I guess. Good work, gentlemen. Look, all, all I did was I asked the man for money, and he, he said he'd give me some. That, that's all, man. We were having a peaceful interaction. <laughs> hey, trooper, can he go in your vehicle? Peaceful yeah, interaction. <laughs> Did you, wait, did you pat him down? Is he first? <laughs> no, not yet. I just want to get him uh, up against the vehicle. Or before I let him go, I just want to make sure I know where we're putting him. That was a long pursuit, man. Yeah, well, I'll take him. Do you want me to pat him down while you secure your long gun? Yeah, sounds good. Alright. Oh, man, right, so that was... Tie you down. Do you have anything that's going to poke or harm me? Hey, we, we were doing our own business, man. Why couldn't you just leave us be? Listen. Do you have anything in your pocket that's gonna harm or poke me or stick me? No, I, I just moved here, man. Can you confirm the name on the license? Bart Williams. Just right, move here. Williams. Go ahead and... Not ready. Go ahead and uh, get in my vehicle, alright? You buy my vehicle. Well, I, I want that three dollars that guy gave me. Get. He, he threw three dollars, I want it. It's three dollars toward rent, man. <laughs> Drake spins out to turn his car. Uh, How you doing, sir? My name's uh, Captain Jeff. Um, what what seems to be the issue? Was that you that robbed me? Well, I'll I'll, I'll talk to the uh, the investigator then. What was that? Were you okay, the one so that robbed me? You don't want to talk to a supervisor? Yeah, robbery fail. <laughs> that got that got ridiculous after you left. What do you mean? I was just making them laugh like crazy. Sir, would you oh. like to speak to a supervisor or no? Yeah, I do. Okay. My name is Captain Jeff. What can I do for you? Well, it's a big misunderstanding, man. I just moved okay. here. What's the... And I met him a couple of hours ago. He's a cool dude. I was just showing him my new gun. And I accidentally discharged. And then you guys came up all guns blazing. So I thought you were going to shoot me, man. So I left. Okay, so you just moved here from a different different area is what you're saying? Yeah, man. I was in Hawaii. Okay. In, that, in that area that you moved from, did they have uh, police? Yeah. Okay, did those Bounty police have too. police cars? What? Do those police drive police cars? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> do those police cars have lights and sirens and all well, that yeah, stuff on I, it? I saw you, man, but I thought you were going to shoot me, man. So, okay. running for my life. so you admit that you saw law enforcement officers for, behind you attempting to stop you with lights and sirens and you did not stop? No, I'm saying that when we were at the golf cart and you guys came up aiming your guns at me, you were getting ready to shoot, man. So I, I, okay, I didn't see so you my thought life. the best thing to do would be to disobey all the verbal orders they were likely giving you and to flee? No, man. It was to save my life. So... Okay. So, here's the deal. You can sit here, and you can talk to me, and then you can talk to somebody else, and then you can talk to a lawyer, and then you can talk to a judge. You can give them the same story over and over and over again. It, it's not going to change anything. You failed to stop when we attempted to stop you, so there right there is going to be a charge. This isn't a misunderstanding. This is an inability for you to understand what you're supposed to do in that situation. 
I don't know what predicated this whole thing. It might very well have been a misunderstanding. Had you cooperated with the officers that showed up on scene, we potentially could have discussed it and chalked it up to exactly that, a misunderstanding. But your actions after the fact, and apparently from what I overheard when I walked in here, an individual willing to sign a, a witness statement or a complaint against you, I, I don't see how in any which way, shape, or form this is a misunderstanding. So unless you have anything else to say, and please don't repeat anything you've User already said, there's nothing else we can do here other than these deputies and officers continuing on with uh, the charges that they're going to file on you. Well, can, can I kindly speak with him? The, the guy? Just explain, you know? Uh, no, absolutely not. Well, why not? Because you're going to be charged with a crime against him so we're not going to allow you to speak to him if you'd like to do that that's, that'll happen in court well I, I just want to tell him right now that you know big misunderstanding him him forgiving you or <laughs> and not willing to press charges or sign a witness statement isn't going to matter much at this point we're still going to be charging you based on things that we found uh, to be in violation of the law so it's, it's quite irrelevant you'll have your opportunity to speak your mind in in the court uh, in front of the judge and your jury and, uh, you know, kind of plead your case and, and perhaps it'll go your way, but more than likely it's going to go our way. So at this point, I'm going to turn it over to these, uh, these deputies and this trooper here, and they're going to continue on with the booking process. Oh, come on, man. There's four of you here and no one can get him down here. No, we could all get him down here. We're not going to, it's not going to happen. Well, I, I don't like your attitude, man. Well, and I don't like people driving throughout my county as you're driving, putting my troopers, my deputies, my officers, and my citizens in danger. Okay, so honestly, I don't care about your opinion. Well, he, you he started it, with man. The no, no, you can't. He, he started uh -huh. it, so. All right. Okay. So All here's right. the deal. <laughs> so I can either charge you right now with felony evading uh, or res felony resisting police officer. I mean, uh, correction, I apologize. Uh, title 8, Section 2, Evading Police Officer, or Title 8, Section 3, Felony Evading Police Officer. So, the more you talk and the more you disrespect these other uh, law enforcement officers, there's going to be more against you. You understand me? Alright, so you gave your a, option A and B. My option C is to bring him down here. <laughs> the option C is being. He's coming back over. No, it's not happening. <laughs> he not, put his you, coffee you down. Heard my captain, the captain, tell you no. Okay. Um, CID investigator, can I speak to you outside real quick? Well, I thought you were drinking yep. coffee, man. <laughs> oh. Are we attempting to get any other information for him for an ongoing um, investigation or something? Yeah, um, so I have another x-ray unit uh, with LSPD. He uh, got the witness statement of the gentleman or female down in um, Sandy Shores. Um, and then I just got on scene here. Uh, they already transported him to Polito Bay, so I'm still trying to get the story from him of what uh, his side is of the case. Um, but we'll uh, be moving forward with the uh, charges, and I'm still waiting for the other uh, x-ray unit to get up here to figure out what exactly happened with the, uh, the witness. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I just wasn't sure if we were just going in circles or if we were asking for particular information. No, yeah, yeah. Nope. Um, yeah, the uh, the trooper brought him in, and then uh, we just got on scene here. So um, we're just waiting for the other X-ray unit to come up, and uh, we can collaborate the story and then uh, explain to the uh, gentleman here why he's getting uh, charged, what he's getting charged with, and obviously why we're here. Okay, sounds good. If you get squirrely or anything, I guess let me know. Otherwise, I mean, I, I pretty much told him exactly what the story is. I mean, it is what it is. Charge yeah. him with what you're going to charge him. Try to get info <laughs> if you want in order to get him on more charges. But, yeah, seems pretty open yeah. and shut. Yeah, by the time we got here, he was requesting a supervisor. I wasn't even aware that he was requesting one until I got uh, got in here. I guess when they brought him in, he was trying to... Yeah. Hey, well, let me no, say I mean, it's, it's, uh, stuff. Witness. <laughs> as, it's another case of incarceritis. He's just trying to come up with grasping any straw he can to stop from going to jail. So it's, it ain't going to happen. No, well, it's 2018. You think you'd ask for a supervisor and get out of everything, you know, like a do-over. But yeah. Yeah, not, not the <laughs> case, though. So. Oh well. All right. But, well, let me know if you guys have any uh, need anything, or but I'm sure you guys got it. Yep. Sounds good. Thank All you. All right. Cool deal. And here's my buddy. Uh, All right. Do you know, yep. Did, did, uh, did the uh, let's kind of take it a few steps over here so we can kind of hear him. Stated it was his purpose, purposefully done. 
What was that? What did he just say? I don't know what he just said. There's so many units out there. They're investigating the whole thing. I put one tire into his, one bullet into his tire. At least I tried, but we had him pinned against that pole. But then we had to get the hell out of there because that unit was coming up on the left. Yeah, that car was terrible in the snow. I knew that was not going to go well. Uh, sir, can you hear me? Yeah. So, I'm going to uh, tell you what you have against you right now. Alright, so, am I talking to investigative peoples, or what, what are we doing? Uh, it's The investigation's already been handled this year. Well, I don't think you have the accurate details. Not even give me a chance, man. Not at all. <laughs> They're out there talking. Bart messed up. Yes, he did. All right, well. Well, you're gonna be charged with you're gonna be charged with Title Nine, Section Three, weapon discharge violation, which is a felony. Title Eight, Section Twenty Seven, uh, felony evading police officer, and Title Eight, Section Twenty, reckless driving. And you'll also be charged with uh, a crime against a uh, person. All right. So it's it's a crime to show your your friend a gun you just bought l legally. So, so, so the victim stated that you did it with purpose intentions, uh, purposefully, t purposefully, my apologies, oh. sir. Well, he, he's lying, man. You know, he, he just likes to play around sometimes, you know? Well, sir, from what we've been told, <laughs> you're still being charged with it. So at this point, I mean, you do have the right to fight it in a court of law uh, and to appeal the charges yourself in a court of law. Uh, do you understand your Miranda rights or you want to repeat them? Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever, man. I, I'm I'm done with this. We Tell already them. we already heard, we already heard everything else. Um, we already heard the primary officer. We already heard what the pursuit was. We already heard that. We already heard the witness statement. Um, we got here a little bit late, so we haven't heard your side, sir. So we'd love to hear it. Oh well, thank, thank the Lordy, someone cares. And then whenever you're ready, sir, we can, uh, we're just going to actually start this audio recorder right here just to make sure that uh, we get your side and make sure all the uh, evidence that you provide us is uh, correct. And um, so let's start this here. All right. It is recording, sir, at this time. Just so you know, you're aware. Um, continue with uh, your side of the story. Uh, just please you start at your the name beginning. for us first. Yeah. So, yeah, let's uh, first yeah, start with your name, uh, first name, last name, and then continue with uh, where you'd like to start off. Alright, Bart Williams and it all started in the Sandy and you know I, I just moved here and um so I, I know I know that guy you know I've seen him around I ran into him at the at the store and you know just kind of being friendly meet new people and then I saw him driving around, and I was like, oh, you know, I just bought a new gun, you know, I'll go show it to him. And so I went over and, you know, pointed it, you know, to to, to show, you know, the side of it. And uh, it accidentally discharged, and then he freaked out, and I was trying to drive to, you know, to make sure he was all right, you know. And when I drove up next to him... Then a trooper came on the side and was yelling at me, said he was going to shoot me. So I, I, I got out of there, man. You know, I'm trying to save my life. I just moved here and... <laughs> Alright, so, sir, I was the 
unmarked white Capri that pulled up behind you when I saw you draw your gun. Oh, he's the, the one at the gas station. You drawing your gun. Any particular reason you ignored my siren and lights when I approached you initially before you did a UE to come back and talk to the guy in the golf cart? What do you mean, man? I wasn't looking behind me. I was Probably looking at him. I, I saw you fly you by. The siren. Well, I thought you were going to a call, man. I don't have the eyes in the back of my head. And where's the gun now? Did somebody take it from you, sir? Yeah, man. Took my gun, man. That was $400, man. I could have spent that on a rent. <laughs> okay, anything else you want to add? Um, who, who have that, that super... Was that firearm registered to you? Yeah, yeah man. That we have the, the weapon and evidence, but we just need to make sure it's registered to you. We are going to run it, so... We, uh, yeah, I just bought it today, but... I asked talk to a supervisor, and he was kind of rude, man. He, he didn't care about anything, and, you know, no, no one cares about my side, and it, it's just a big misunderstanding, man, you know. I don't know what he told you, but, you know, he, he likes to play around a little bit and, you know, play jokes and whatnot, so I wouldn't take it too literal, you know. <laughs> All right, so once we got, and again, I wasn't a part of the pursuit, sir, so you, know, you can correct me if I'm wrong about what was happening. I'm just listening over the radio. I'm just an investigative unit. Um, you led them into a little farm area that was, you went through under a bridge, and then you started to run with your pistol, um, and then you were finally tased um, after, you know, running from the police. Uh, is there any reason for that? Because not only did you flee in your vehicle, but then you ran from law enforcement, and then they had to tase you. Well, yeah, man, because at the end, when they all ganged up on me, I screamed, and, you know, because I was so scared, man. You guys were all coming after me, and I couldn't figure out why. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, so at this time, it's uh, this questions are just completely generalized uh, and standard with everyone we arrest. Uh, uh, are okay. you currently on any medications that would hinder your judgment? No, I I got diabetes. Possibly, okay. But what okay, are you trying to say, diabetes, man? Okay. I I'm just I need to understand <laughs> your mental state right now, sir. So I just need to make sure that you're alert, oriented, and understanding of these charges. All right. Perfectly fine, man. So, okay. All right. Second question. Have you ever been institutionalized in a mental health facility? No, man. I used to live in Hawaii, okay. man. Uh, this is my first time here. Yeah. All right. Have you ever been arrested, whether in the state of San Andreas, well, in the whole state of San Andreas, either by LSPD or by the Blaine County Sheriff's Office or Highway Patrol? Nope. Just got an apartment or a trailer yesterday, so... Okay, and the vehicle you're driving, the blue, uh, I'm not even sure what kind of car it was. We do have a have it impounded, um, but is that vehicle registered to you? Yeah, I'm leasing it for now because I couldn't afford to, you know, to buy it out, right? Okay, and you have paper pro to prove that? Yeah. Not on me, it's in the car. Okay, that's gonna that's completely fine, sir. We're gonna check the vehicle, check the glove box, all that good stuff. I'm, we already had a unit check it. It's already in the impound. Um, we'll go and check the documents. All right. Uh, anything else uh, you'd like to add, uh, uh, extra unit? Uh, well, um, I just wanna ask this gentleman. Uh, I guess just try to, to match the story. So. Sir, the guy in the golf cart says you were robbing him at gunpoint. You said uh, you offered to sell him some tickets, and then when you came back <laughs> with your firearm, you stuck him up and told him that you needed money for your rent. Why would he fabricate a story like that? <laughs> if it isn't uh, oh no, 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 man. He, you know, you know, people, you know, misinterpret. You know, um, I said that I was taken out a loan. To pay my rent. That's uh -huh. what I With said. With your gun? No, I, I told this other officer, man, weren't you listening? And I just bought the gun and I was just showing it off to him, you know? Because I just okay. met him and he thought it was cool, so... Alright, well, the gentleman says when you pulled back up, when you made that U and you pulled back up, 
you demanded the money again, and he threw three dollars at you, and <laughs> only two of the dollars went into your car. Because I have the third dollar bagged as evidence on me right now. Oh, well. You're telling me you're not going to find your fingerprint on that third dollar. <laughs> well, I told him that the loan it will keep up a little bit short, so he said he could loan me a little bit until next payday. Three dollars? <laughs> he was going to loan you three dollars. Well, that's all he had on him, man. Look, look at him, man. Okay. No offense, but he's not too dandy. He looks like, you know, he doesn't have a lot. He told me that. All right, well. His, his wife um, left him and. <laughs> which one of oh, you, uh, right. which one of you fine gentlemen is Sean? Trooper. Is that, is that the one with the beanie or the one with the trooper hat? Trooper. Trooper hat, I believe. Sean, that you? Not me. I'm, I'm the beanie. Okay. I'm the beanie. <laughs> and this is Sean? Yeah. Sean the mute. Alright. Um, I think Sean might have already been filling out an arrest report. I just didn't want any of the charges to overlap. I think the only thing he still needs to have added is going to be the uh, armed robbery. And then figuring out how much total jail time he's going to be looking at. Oh, come on, man. What, what was the whole point of me mm. explaining my story if you're going to do the same thing that Supervisor did? Because right now he's looking at weapon discharge, felony evading, reckless driving, assault with a deadly weapon, armed robbery. That's, uh, that's a good good list no, of things, sir. That's because you guys were trying to kill me, man. You are like, following me. Nobody's trying to kill uh, you. The only thing you were told to is get out of the car. Yeah, you said you're gonna shoot me, man. And then you all ganged up around me, so I, I freaked out. I screamed. <laughs> Do you know why right. that occurred? Because that's that's how our policy works. What? Yeah, I wasn't sure if you were gonna run me over, sir, because I was trying I'm to catch up to you in the car, and I stepped over to the side, and you were all over the place with your car, so. Run you over? Why? Well, I never even seen you before, man. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, CID, you got everything you need for me. I'll make sure I send you. Uh, I'm gonna drop this evidence off here, and I'll make sure I email you that uh, the statement from the victim. Yeah. If you could just say yeah, email me a statement, and then just uh, with that attachment, just let me know what evidence that you're transferring over to the BCSO. Yep. Um, yeah. And then if you just, just to sign confirm, this chain how, evidence, how much money did he stick up the uh, the guy $3. for? Three dollars. Three dollars. <laughs> 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 I want to make sure wow. I heard that right. Hey, man, that's, that, that's, really that's all he had, man. He was being nice and loaning it. Oh, so you are admitting to armed robbery. No, I said he loaned <laughs> it. That's so... all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, 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 nah. All right, sir. How did you get back here and stop walking around? Hey, what, what? All right. All right, uh, sir, if you want to sign I... this chain of evidence, has to form for me, sir. Can I, can I speak to the witness? No. no. Why? No. Hey, you have you that right in court. Me. You can cross-examine witnesses in court. Oh, God, man. If he wants to come, if he wants to come over, then let him. Yeah. Uh, oh, this is yeah. have a good day. Stay happen. safe. Perfect. Yep. No, I, I won't have a good day. <laughs> you uh, well, me. you're not an officer. <laughs> All right. So what's gonna happen at this time? This trooper here is gonna be booking you in our sheriff station here for those charges. I personally am gonna add on the robbery uh, charge, the armed robbery charge. Um, it isn't going to hinder you're still going to have to post bail i'm not sure what it's going to be at um but you're going to be in jail for a set amount of time before you uh, see a judge um, that's going to be set by this uh trooper here um so after that you're probably you know something you're looking at oh actually it's not the weekend yet so tomorrow morning you're going to see a judge you're going to post bail and then you got to side your case with them they're the ones that are going to listen okay sir our supervisor told you what's going on a trooper told you what's going on i'm telling you what's going on it, it doesn't matter if it's a loan or not you pointed a gun at him and you got three dollars <laughs> as right, well. little as that sound and as petty as that sounds that's still a crime um, I'm not sure, you know, you have a very uh, English accent. You sound like you're up here from Sandy Shores area. I'm pretty sure you know what law <laughs> enforcement is. I'm pretty sure you know what a cop car sounds like when you have lights and sirens going behind you, trying to tell you to pull over, and uh, you ain't pulling over, and you go on a very long pursuit, sir. I, we were trying to keep up with you. I, you went through Grapeseed, you came back out, you went down to Joshua, you went back up, and then you kind of finally <laughs> came up to Plato here. So you knew what you were doing. You were coming yeah, around. You, you, you did saw too, man. You. 
You guys were being like Hitman, man. You're like relentless. You just kept coming. I, we doing I appreciate that, sir. I appreciate you calling us relentless. And if <laughs> once by the time you get out, if you want to go on Google reviews and put that that we're relentless, yeah, I yeah, really I, I appreciate that. I don't like gratitude, man. I want to talk to someone new. All right. Well, you'll what be you talking to, to the intake. Counter. Who's this All guy? Right, so... I haven't seen him. <laughs> well, don't, that's don't worry. Quite about all right. Me. All right, so, so what's going to happen, sir? You don't, you, you don't have to worry about him right now, but when you post your bail and you get out and you don't come back to court and you're missing your, your court date, <laughs> that is the guy you got to worry about, all right? Well, I, I like it when they run. I used to live in Hawaii, you and, you know, they, I've right, seen... so there's only... Yeah, I'm sure he's... Yeah. Uh, all right, sir. What this? What we're gonna do at this time? We're gonna take the handcuffs off. Just remember, you are in a locked facility. We are gonna take your fingerprints at this table here. It's gonna be the old-fashioned way, okay? We're gonna do one hand. We're gonna get your fingerprints. We're gonna get them booked. The what the trooper's gonna do is gonna come around here. The we're, he's gonna talk to the intake, and we're gonna get you uh, put into a jail cell. All right? So get those cuffs off while he's doing that, and then I'm gonna get your fingerprints, and then the trooper's gonna come behind here and call the. Uh, the intake for the jail and get you unbooked, okay? Alrighty, boss, I'm uncuffing you. Just a reminder, anything you do after I uncuff you will be an extra charge against you, understand me? Uh, whatever, man. I don't want a whatever, I want a yes. He ain't gonna be running far. I dare him to try. I hear, I hear all these mean stories yeah. about those warrant services guys. Nah, man, we're all rainbows and gummy bears. There, that sounds fine. And also, also, what? all right. There. You had a mess all over. You know what? I'm pretty sure AC ain't working down there, and you know what? I don't think you deserve that. Uh, fancy. You, no, so you gonna take that off before you even get out there. You bump, you bump my hand, gonna, man. You bump my arm. They gonna. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna put you in a nice orange jumpsuit. <laughs> well, I ain't no AC, but I got this fan, so I can use this right around my neck. Nope. Well, it's gonna be taken away pretty soon. <laughs> uh, this is so great. What's our jail? Answer so the phone downstairs. He'll be uh, he'll be doing something. <laughs> oh, sorry about that, man. <laughs> uh, I think you got it on your shirt there. You might want to wipe. Oh it. yeah, here my I wipe it off on your on your counter here. <laughs> you want to go for a solid police officer? <laughs> you want to get it near me? You want to sneeze what? on me, man? I, you want to sneeze on me? I can handle it, man. You sneeze away. You're. And you want to help me? Right now, scenario man. really quickly for me? <laughs> you're pretty hard. Ain't hard so to for sneezing. cover your nose there. Didn't think I'd teach her manners. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> Alright, so he is locked away for good. And if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, drop a comment down below. I love hearing your feedback down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.